Now, another layer to it, even when it comes to gentlemen, while they will string us along, even not on purpose, is because they don't trust us. So they can they can actually want to commit to you. They, they could actually want to be in a relationship with you, but because a lot of females are untrustworthy, I have to stretch this out to see if this is what you're really about. So no, I'm not just going to hop in and rush into something because I have to see if this is truly who you are. This is why they'll wait three months, six months, nine months, a year before it's like, okay, I feel like we can go ahead and make this official. It's because a lot of us be playing games, but this is what's going on. And a lot of us don't realize it. And on top of that, ladies, a lot of us practice a lot of the BS behaviors and have a lot of the, the BS mentalities and mind states and lifestyles that a lot of, you know, no good females practice and have. And so we could really start to look like liabilities to men from all over. Every angle, you're a liability. This is why more and more men are finding themselves alone and, and being okay with it. See, it used to be a point to where a lot of brothers especially were like, you know what, I, I I really do desire to be married. I really want my family. I really want, you know, to take care of somebody, share my life with somebody, you know, and they were really, they were ready and willing to settle by any means necessary. But now it's like, no, I still desire those things. Don't get me wrong. But it's not in this desperate attempt to obtain it. There's no longer this desperate attempt to attain it to where it's like, oh, okay, well, even if she ain't shit and she got all these damn kids and she got all the baby daddies and she's disrespectful, you know, I'll just work with her and then, you know, I can change her and get her to do better and get, that's done. Thank you, Andrew. That's done. So even in my poll earlier, where you had a lot of men saying, you know what? I'm not giving up on American black women. I still love my sisters. I still got hope for y'all. Although that is still the case, right? They're not ready and willing to do those things on very risky levels. So for example, you have brothers like, yeah, I'm not giving up, but I'm also not placing myself directly in harm, in harm's way to where it's like, without a shadow of a doubt, this is going to fuck me up. I'm not doing that. It has to be a circumstance to where, you know, maybe she just needs a little correction or a little direction, but it, it's not going to be something that's going to kill me in the process. I'm not doing that. But when it comes to my sisters that maybe, you know, just need a little bit of adjusting, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll work with her. So they're still practicing even trying to help you and quote unquote save you with limitations. It is not done at the same rate, to the same extent or capacity as it once was. That's dead. And what's really scary for a good majority of y'all is the fact that men are not ready and willing to take, to take a, a chance or a risk on you at all. So you're not even one of the select few of women that they are ready and willing to take a chance on. It's like, oh, you're too much of a risk. You're too much of a liability. You're too dangerous. I would hurt myself touching you see it used to be a point to where men were ready and willing to hurt them damn self to help you that's dead i'm not going to hurt myself but i am re ready and willing to step in if i feel like i if, if it's worth it y'all give us 611 likes and like i said since a good chunk of us are not the type that's, that is worth the headache, worth the sacrifice, worth the scars. 
Men are perfectly okay with being alone. And boy, oh boy, have y'all fucked it up. Not only for yourselves, but the other women around you. Because here's the thing. It's going to come a, a point in time to where you're going to realize your faults and flaws. And you're going to want a man to take a risk on you. Like, yeah, I messed up, but I got it now. Yeah, I used to be that way, but I got it now. Please work with me. Please see my value. Please see my worth. And they're going to keep flying high alone. So y'all have no idea how much y'all have fucked it up. Because it's going to come. It's going to come. It's a matter of when, not if. When that time comes and y'all are like, damn, all these men are, are overseas. All these men are by themselves. All these men, you know, already have their woman. Whatever the case. Y'all are gonna y'all gonna feel that shit, and it's gonna stain something terribly, something serious. So y'all are really messing it up for yourself and other women around you, because by a majority of us being on bullshit, men just see us all the same. 